just got interested. <clears throat> Junior, <laughs> what's going on, man? Hey, I kept hitting the button. It wasn't working. You know, man, I can't I can, make it work. Something was wrong, man. Everybody else was joining on but you, man. How your day well, been? I'm, I don't have time to be on Facebook 24 hours a day like everyone else. I'm breeding dogs and working. Yeah, yeah. That's the life of a breeder, right? Yeah, I don't have time to chit chat <clears> on forums. Yeah, I know you're old school with it. I told them already before you came on here, man. You got decades after decades of dealing with dogs, so you're just a different breed. You know what I mean? Yeah, old school. Oh, Mike, you know what today is, man. We got a few questions for you. We're going to do a little small segment. I know we both busy, so we might not get everything knocked off up in this one. Okay. But, but we can at least get started, you know. Um uh, you know, one of the first questions everybody got was, um, you know, when it comes to you, because not too many people know you around the world, not too many people don't know you. I mean, let's just go ahead and explain who you are. You know, who are you and what's your importance to this breed that we call Connie Corso? Oh, well, my, my, uh, well, first of all, my family's been in, uh, the mass, the Italian master business for, uh, I don't know how long. My great grandfather had Neos. My father started with Neos back in the seventies, early seventies, and then he he got uh, Corsos back in uh, eighty eight. And I've been around the Mastiffs like all my life, you know, Italian Mastiffs all my life. Okay, I'm fifty seven years old, so you could say I've been around the dog since uh, since the first dog my father ever acquired. So let's say 1973. Wow, 1973. So you were just a little bitty one, right? Like they say, huh? You just hang well, around. Uh, eight, eight, eight years old, maybe nine years old. Okay, so is is it a tradition with your family as far as the breed? I mean, like, does it go all the way back to your great grandfather? Yeah, my, my great have, grandfather had a handful of. Uh, he had like a breeding pair. He wasn't like a breeder where he had like a full kennel. But he was around breeders all, you know, he was around people that had Neos, all Neo people, you know. And we're talking about not the Neo of today. We're talking That's about right. the, we're talking about the dog that looked like a Corso back then, you know. Looked like a traditional Corso. Uh, yeah, they, they were like the one in the same breed, but they they were what they call, they weren't Neos then, they were Connie Depressus. That's what the breed name was, Connie Depressa. Okay, so was that like the only breed that you were into? Your family was into? No, my, actually, my father was was uh, when he was young, he he took a liking to bull terriers, English bull terriers, mm -hmm. and he he started breeding bull terriers or owning bull terriers in like the the early nineteen fifties. He didn't start breeding or or ha owning neos until nineteen seventy three, because he he. He got himself established with the bull terriers. He bought himself property, and then he he wanted the he he missed the old dogs that he grew up with when his grandfather was around. So he oh. wanted to have a you know he wanted to have some meals because he had fond memories of them when he was a child. Correct. Up. Correct. So, so he did he continue on with the bull terriers when he got to the neos, or did he? Well, just he had, but he he never intended to get rid of the bull terriers. But back when he he had a bad, like back in like the late seventies, uh, the 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 heartworm hit hit the kennel hard, and uh -huh. it killed most of his good stock. And it and it made him very very disenchanted with the bull terriers because he lost a lot of his good dogs from the heartworm. They didn't even know about heartworm back then. They didn't even have good medicine to treat it. <clears throat> so prior to 73, he was really into bull terriers, but he had some type of awareness of what a Italian master oh, yeah. He had experience he with the Yeah, he grew up with the dogs. His grandfather had them. Okay. And okay. everybody everybody in the 